In this video, we're going to unbox the iSavvy from WideEye. First, we must remove our sleeve so that we can open our box. Here we have a carrying case for the device and accessories. Underneath we have documentation such as our quick start guide, troubleshooting document, certification of inspection, and LED status quick reference guide. Here we have the iSavvy itself. On top we have our pointing LEDs. In front we have our power button and exit pointing button. On the opposite side we have our connector for our battery pack. And underneath this gasket we have the SIM port and the USB port. We'll go ahead and insert our SIM at this time. First we'll remove the SIM from its sleeve. If you'll notice there's a little cut in the corner of the SIM card. This must be inserted first with the gold pins facing towards the bottom of the unit like so. Simply press the SIM down until it clicks into place. When replacing the gasket, press on the outer edges to avoid accidentally popping out the SIM card. Here we have a USB drive in the shape of the iSavvy. It contains digital copies of the user manual and quick start guide. Here we have the AC charging pack with international adapters. Simply choose the adapter for the country that you're in. To connect the adapter, align the tabs found on the outer circle. Once in, twist right to lock into place. To remove the adapter, push the button in front, twist left, and lift. Here we have our battery pack. Underneath this gasket is the port for the charger. The battery can be charged independently from the unit itself. This button here, when pressed, will light up the battery life indicator. We have two out of four lights, which indicates that we have about 50% battery life. Here we have the USB cable. This is to be used when performing a firmware upgrade on the unit. To install the battery, first insert it into place and then tilt towards the elevation indicators and then press down. To remove the battery, swivel it to expose the tab, press, and release. Power on the unit, hold the power button for a few seconds until the LEDs light up. It will then begin to initialize. While it's initializing, we'll discuss the apps for the unit. There are two apps available. One is the control app. This is used for pointing, establishing a data connection, or controlling the devices connected to the unit. The voice app is used for placing phone calls and sending SMS messages. Before we can use either app, we must first connect to the Wi-Fi access point of the unit. Underneath, there's a label with the serial number and IMEI. It also displays the default SSID or Wi-Fi access name and password. We're going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi access point at this time. Should begin with iSavvy followed by the last seven digits of the IMEI. The password is case sensitive, so make sure to capitalize where applicable. Now that we're connected to the iSavvy, we can go ahead and use our app. It's going to ask us for our username and password. The login is admin, and the password is 1234. Go ahead and select your language. You can enter a name for your device. 
You can change the admin password if you wish. And then ask you if you want to keep the firewall on. We recommend that you do. And you can enable the feature to share data. You can control what this device is capable of, either data, incoming call, or outgoing calls. You then have the option to change the Wi-Fi password if you wish. And then gives you instructions on how to point the device. You can point the device one of many ways. You can use a control app to assist with pointing. It'll walk you through the process. As you can see, it's indicating to power on the unit. And use the LEDs to help you point. Once you have all four LEDs solid green, that means you have great signal and you are now re ready to register onto the network. You can also hold the exit pointing button for more than five seconds to enable the audio pointing. The faster the frequency of the beeping, the stronger your signal. Once you have signal and you're registered onto the network, you can place a phone call. Simply open the voice app, press the phone icon found on the bottom left hand corner and dial. The dialing procedure for the iSavvy is 00, followed by the country code you're trying to dial. For instance, the country code for the United States is 1, followed by the area code and phone number. And press the phone icon found on the bottom to initiate the phone call. You can also use the SMS tab to send messages. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.networkinv.com.